today we are going to learn how to make a web page in which we can check multiple checkboxes through one checkbox for that first of all we are going to create an index file we are going to open this file in visual studio code <clears throat> first of all let's get a boilerplate of html and give it a title of check all boxes check all check boxes we are going to need a form and we'll give it an id as a data form <clears throat> then we are going to give an input that is a check box we're going to name it as select all and we are also going to give it an id of select all <clears throat> we are going to use this data form this data form id and this select all id in jquery in order to access it and after we click it the rest of the check boxes should get checked so we are going to insert many check boxes and uh, we don't need id we just need to give it a value <coughs> we also need to give a label for the select all I'm going to give it a label as select all save it and run it inside our browser see we have two check boxes and one label here we are going to give a break so that the other checkbox comes below the first checkbox we are also going to provide it with a label label for country and we are going to give the label the value as india we need to break it we're going to copy it and we're going to change the value as America save it we have two check boxes next we are going to give another country and now we're going to give it an input as submit its value would be view and we're going to give it a name as view see there it is and in order to select if we select a single checkbox we can see that we can select only one checkbox when we click on this select all nothing happens in order for it to work we need jquery so we are going to search for jquery cdn 
you just need to copy and paste the jquery cdn script tag of the minified jquery copy and paste it below the title tag below it we are going to write a little script in this script we are going to see if the document is ready when the document is ready we are going to run a function that is in that function we are going to access the form that is this data form we are going to access the form using its id for id we are going to use hash and we are also going to access this one using this id so it would be hash select all and when i click on it then we are going to run another function inside it in that function we are going to access data form and the inputs of type checkbox and we are going to change their properties and the property that we are going to change is checked to this dot checked <coughs> what this does is if the checkbox is checked then it will uncheck the checkbox and if it is unchecked it will check the checkbox so let's see it in action now if we go to our page and reload it and click on the select all everything should be selected see that means our code is working now we are going to get these values this india america and germany and we are going to print it using php so for that i'm going to use if is set dollar underscore post view which means if the view button is clicked this button this one then it would come right here and after that we are going to use for each loop to access our array the name of the array is country in which there are the values stored of the countries the names of the countries are stored in the country array so we are going to access is we are going to access it using country and as dollar country we are assigning each of the values inside the country array into the country variable after we do that we are going to echo dollar country so that it gives out all of the names of the countries that we have selected so now if we select only two and click the view button it should give some output but it didn't why did it not let's check the name of the input type was view and everything got into the country okay we need to set the action as 
index dot php and method equals to post and save it and refresh the page and after after we select a few checkboxes and click the view button here we get the values India and America and after we click select all and click the view button here we get all of the values so that's all for today make sure to subscribe so you never miss another video and hit the bell icon to join the notification squad let us know in the comments which part of the video was most helpful to you and share it with your friends thanks Thank you.